and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the Raft Survival add-on. Now I am creating an entirely new world to look into this um, add-on because one, I'm afraid I'm just going to replace the rest of my world with water. Two, uh, you know, I just thought I'm just doing this to be safe because I don't want it, like I said, I don't want it to replace my world with water. Um, ah, so we didn't spawn in an ocean, we spawned in a jungle. In a jungle tiger, uh, not jungle tiger, a tiger, spruce forest, back brain no brain no today. In, uh, the, in this add-on, you uh, start by crafting a raft. You can find the recipe in this book. Once it's crafted, you can search uh, the uh, waters for totems. These totems allow you to summon the skeleton pirates. On their ships, you can find the uh, loot to upgrade your raft. Made by cube... Cubed creations, uh, raft levels. So raft spawn egg is two wool and three planks. Oh, I've got plenty of wood. I'll just break down this fallen tree here over here. So there's a crafting table. That's some planks. I'll get a little bit more so I can make a wooden sword. Alright, boom, boom, bam, uh, let's create a wooden, oh, there's a hot, there's a poon, I can make a poon with free iron. Yeah, and there's the uh, raft one, so I just need two wool, so let's just craft a wooden sword so I can go kill some sheep. This would actually be, this would actually be easier if I had the uh, Tinker's Construct add on, on, because I could break this grass to get the uh, fibre, and then I could craft four fibre into one. Uh, into four string, I think, or one string, and then craft that string into wool. Doggo! The doggos are going to be annoying because they're going to kill the sheep before I can find them, probably. And unfortunately for me, there does not seem to be a ocean biome anywhere nearby. Or any sheep. There's a fox. There's a river. The river probably leads to an ocean. I need to find sheep first. Oh, this is odd. Oh, yeah, I see what happened. It, yeah. Maybe we have the No, Lily, what are you even growling at? And uh, now she's off out. Don't want copper, I want sheep. Anyway, this is time I normally only want copper. Oh, cow. I'm gonna kill this cow real quick just so I have a bit of food in case I get hungry before I find the sheep. Yeah, sheep, bishop, bishop. It would be cool if like, they made it so that uh, you just get uh, the raft item when you spawn in, or uh, just by clicking a button in the book or something. I don't know. That would be easier for you to just start out the world with a raft. I'm in. There's a fox. There's more cows, but still no sheep. There's sugar cane. There's corse dirt. I didn't think corse dirt could spawn naturally. Yeah, corse dirt, huh. Yeah, well, where's the shit? Oh, there's a... There's a pillager outpost over there. I found a pillager outpost before I found a sheep. 
More dogs. Dogs attacking uh, foxes. A sheep! A dead sheep! I got one third of the wool I need. Oh, I can't. You're a brown sheep. I need white sheep. I need free white wool. Why? Why are you the one? I'm gonna stop that before I actually say something that'll get me cancelled. Um. Yeah, it's fine, sheep. Well, it's not usually hard, but it's a bit of a pain if you're in the wrong biome. Like if I put spawn in the plains biome, I would have probably found enough sheep by now. Oh. Bitter. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna be back once I found the uh, uh, enough sheep to make a raft. Right, right. I found the, this uh, village. Oh, it is getting dark, but this village has wool! So if I just grab a couple of these... Uh, oh, I don't like leaving things right into the spawn. Yeah, but I can't get... Oh, no, I can. There we go. There you go. And the slips. Right, so I have everything necessary to craft a raft. So, and we're right next to the ocean, so... I'm gonna place this down. I'm gonna craft up one raft. And take this crafting table back. I'm gonna place a raft. Oh, this is cute. So, to upgrade it, you need 35 oak wood, 10 string, and 10 bones. And I have my little raft. Yeah. If I little seagull guy. So, yeah, Harpoon uh, has storage for items. Oh, if I go to E, huh. Right. Ah, attack, interact. So, what's those bubbles? Oh, it's a totem. So we've got a totem. Right click to summon a pirate boat. So I assume these bubbles are where the pirate boat's going to summon. I click, there we go. Oh, that sum summons right on top of me. Ow. Okay, these guys are a bit... Oh, there was a... Tr oh, come on, that's not fair. There was a trident drowned. Good thing I slept here. That's not fair. The trident round got me. I thankfully I think the trident round's gone. So I got retextured skeletons, basically. I do like uh, how they look. They do look cool. Ah, yeah. Oh, the trident drowned still here somewhere. He's right there. Yeah. Damn it. 
Why did there have to be a trident drown? Why will I summoned it? It's just hanging out waiting for the perfect time to just screw me over. Yeah, damn it. Also, how did my crafting table get all the way over here? Oh, I got some crimson root. Uh. Ow. Oh, now one of the sharks is attacked. Ah, I'm going to attack by shark, bone sharks. Oh my god, there's so many bone sharks. Ow, and I'm being shot at. Uh, how am I going to get on here with these skeletons shooting me? Right, I can probably deal with the sharks quite easily because they don't appear to be very smart. There we go. Oh, I hear the drowned. And my sword's almost dead. Uh, let's see, what loot have we got here? Oh, quad, I need that. Uh, some grass, sea grass, and some kelp. I'm gonna take the chest. Might need the chest later on. Uh, got some flint. Oh, you sneaky little. Got three logs, some kelp, and some sea grass. I'm going to need to make a new wooden sword. Uh, let's make two new ones. Alright, let's... Damn! Ah, and another shark. And the shark's dead. Also, those bone sharks can spawn without you crafting the raft. I've seen them around before I crafted the raft. It did say the uh, thing on the... Uh, the uh, uh, Minecraft Marketplace page did say that Seagull does something, but I do not know what. So I assume I just right click the boat with these. Hold on, am I too far away? Now you can stand on top. Oh, there we go. So I don't want to put that in there. Do you put it? No. Hmm. Do I shift right click? No. Oh! Uh, no! God damn it. How do I add my stuff to the raft? I'll have to read the book. Uh, oh, don't tell me I lost the book. Yeah, do it. You have been given totem one. Oh, don't tell me I lost the try to drown. Yeah. Nope, I'm out. Can I craft another book easily? Oh, oh. Alright. No. 
あー、消えちゃう。あー、どうはいどうなぁ、I don't have the guidebook。Oh, and the trident round followed me back here. Oh. We shouldn't even be able to target me when I'm outside the water. Now, oh, there's two of them. You do it. Why now that I don't want to try to drown, do I only get thrown and drown? There's so many trying and drowns. I just wanna play with the add-on. Why are you taking damage? Oh, I bet because it can only be in water and when he jumps out of the water. Uh, I bet you need all ten bones before it can do anything, before it'll work, I bet. All ten string and all thirty-five logs. Alright, let's see, let's get another one of these in here then. I just, I guess I'll just have to wing it. Oh, another totem. Also, I'm gonna swim over here. Let's, uh, Hopefully this will be far enough away from the two dry tried and drowns. Yeah, yeah. Alright, oh, they're already trying to get me. Uh, I'm just gonna fuse these two real quick. Alright. They can't really seem to attack me if I'm under water. If I'm under water, so oh, oh no, I was wrong. I was very wrong. All right, put the war beef in there. Okay, you're probably gonna want some more resources and some more food and, a, and some wooden swords if you want to get started in this. Ow. Ow. And it's getting to night time. That's not good for me. What if I just boat around them? There's not really a way to get up here. So what I'm gonna do... I'm going to park my raft about here. I'll stand on my raft. And I'll just punch away these blocks. Now, oh, there was a sign there. And there's even more of them here. Thankfully they're stuck in the water so they can't get me. Oh, he's come under that. Well, good thing I did come down here because there's a chest down here. Yep. Uh, balls of enchanting, oak wood, kelp, leather, and seagrass. There we go. Wood. Ooh, got some copper. Got some kelp, got some seagrass. Got some kelp, got some bowls, got some string, and seagrass. Hmm. Oh, that's my uh, raft. Alright, so I can go that way. Unfortunately for me, there's not been any food in these ships. 
My bowl of enchanting is nice, but I'd rather a cooked meal. Hmm. So I'm... Oh, I can't because I didn't put cheats on. I was going to give myself some food. And I have 10 bones. Can I right click the raft? Yeah, so yeah, once you get it enough, you can right click the raft to add them to your raft. There we go. And another water totem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to that village. I'm going to sleep because it's dark. Uh, and I'm going to grab some food from the village. I wanted to try and do this with as little stuff from the mainland as possible. But it kind of can't. You kind of can't really do that. You kind of need some stuff. This isn't a sleepy house. That's a wakey house. Get out of the bed, dude. I need to sleep. Oh, God damn it! Run away! I ain't going to protect me! He's not very good at his job. But they are all this is a bit than this. No! I wonder I'd be disappointed to see one of those. Huh? One of the libraries. Huh? Move! God damn it, stupid villagers. There's a zombie, oh, there's two zombies on the roof. La 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 la. I got a free bone from a dead skeleton. La 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 la. Carrots. Lovely edible carrots. Gather up some food. Kill the stupid shark. That's on luck. Okay. Ah, goddamn, I forgot I was on one heart. Where did I die? Right here. Well, the shark's gone now at least. Let's get some wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some stone. Uh, a stone sword at least. And some stone tools. Crafting table, sticks, oh I know. Need at least three planks to make a pickaxe. And it'll just be quicker to just to dig the hole and to dig the stir underwater stone. Two for a sword, three for a pickaxe, and three for an axe. I'll get eight for a uh, furnace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so sword, pickaxe, axe, fairness. Put those two there. 
Them there. Question, can I summon one of these on land? Ah, uh, nah, summon pirate boat on water. It's like, ah, ah, ah. Oh, I should also take one of the beds. So I can sleep wherever I want. So, let's do one more ship, and then what I'll do is I'll leave, I'll, uh, and then I'll just activate cheats so we can have a look at all the, uh, different levels of boats, or rafts. Right. Oh, boy, they are really aggressive, these guys. I'm just going to try and lure them off the boat. Ow. Okay, they're not willing to come off the boat. I'm going to go around this side. I'm going to try and make my way up here. Oh, there's a little entrance for me. Great. Ow. Ow. I'm being attacked by sharks as well. Great. Oh my god, I am on half a... Okay, then I'm gonna go and creative now. Yeah, you're definitely gonna want uh, a bit more than just some stone stuff if you're gonna be uh, doing the raft part of this. And I think that's a bit, uh, a little bit disappointing in my opinion because um, it would be fun if you could just like start the world off and then. Um, you know, just to, you know, start the world, craft a raft, and then uh, without having to get like a bunch of stuff on the mainland first, because that's a lot of skeletons, and they they do a fair bit of damage. And if you get on, and because you have to spoil it on water, you could get unlucky with a trident round, or with just like a bunch of the skeleton shards spawning and then just ruining everything. We can take a look at the ship real quick. Have a look at these skeletons. They are cool looking skeletons. Uh, pirate skeletons. But I think maybe it would be better. Um, oh, I got, did get some iron in this one. I think it would be better if they like, uh, if like the lower, if like the, these beginners. Like, let me have a look. Is there multiple totems? Tote. Right, no. So there's only one totem. Also, apparently, it gives you plus three attack damage. Odd. Anyway. Um, so, first of all, there should be multiple tiers of totems. So, there should be tier 1 totems, tier 2, tier 3, and tier 4. And the, the, each one, obviously, like, progressively gets harder, and the, they spawn depending on what level your boat is. So, if your boat's only level 1, you're only going to get tier 1 totems. But if you have like a level two bow, which you're gonna get level, you're gonna also have a chance to get tier two totems, and so on. Oh, and these don't use up if you're creative, so I can spawn a bunch of these. We can have a bit of a look at the different ships. So, but, so in my opinion, it should be like, you know, like I said, tier one, tier two, tier three, and like going up. And obviously, it would get pro progressively get harder, but progressively get better to lose. So, like, tier one totems would they give you boats? They just give you like some basic food, like bread, some like stone tools, and like some. Oh, and they wouldn't be manned by skeleton crews, they'd be manned by like zombie crews because zombies would be easier to deal with. Like maybe an iron ingot or two. And then when you got to level two, you do get like mostly like, uh, you get like better stuff like iron, cooked food, uh, and the dirt, uh, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, and stuff to, and obviously stuff to upgrade your raft. Oh. Let me also check. Oh. 
Okay, what was the name of the guidebook that they used? Because they, like... It's annoying because they all use that. Sometimes they use different... Raft Survival. And there's two different Raft Survivals. God. Oh, the game's not happy with me. So yeah, level one, level two. Yeah. So these are the only two pages that exist. Let me just go into survival real quick and see, can you craft them? Game. Zero. Raft. Uh, let's go into a crafting table and check. Nope, you can't craft it. Okay, and there, there needs to be an easy way to craft the raft, uh, uh, the raft guidebook. Just in case you do lose it. Because, you know, it's not nice losing the book and then not having a way to get it back. So, if I find my raft... Where is my raft? It wasn't over here, it was over here, yeah. I'm going to take my raft. And then just move it over here. And the models and everything are like, there is ships, they're all like really good. I really do like the models, at least so far. So I need 35 oak. Okay, I feel, I feel like I'm going to need a lot of oak wood. I'm just going to grab a bunch of this. There we go. And string. We're going to need a bunch of string as well. So shift right click. And it's upgraded. Seagull, totem in sight. Ah. Oh. It lets you know when there's a totem nearby. Hold on, game of daylight cycle falls. Time set zero. So now you need wood, string, flint, and iron. Uh, but what set so moves faster and the seagull spots totems? Yeah. So if we go here. Yeah, that's definitely moving faster than it was earlier. The string... Oh! It doesn't even remove them from the inventory when you're... In creative, and then flint and iron. Flint. Iron. Iron flint. So now it's level three. Let's get the book back out. Level three, the seagull catches fish for you. Uh, two more seats for players. Oh, so you can have uh, your friends join you. Yeah? Oh, and I just accidentally added flint to it. Never mind. Yeah, this is cool. I see. Oh! Yeah, this gave me a crooked card. That's nice. Now, string, uh, wood, iron. Alright, so it's now level 4. Has a ballista and a lamp. Use a ballista to shoot and collect totem. Ah. So, it collects totems for you. Yeah, that 
Is that all it does? Hold on. Let's find that some skeletons. Oh, there's a skeleton shark here. Let's test it on the skeleton shark. So, ah, it does also do damage. That's good. There we go. So let's find some skeletons and shoot some skeletons with it. It's a skeleton. Or two. Oh, it one shot some. I know it doesn't. That one must have been low on health. I was going to say that means the sharks are a bit more difficult than the actual skeletons themselves. Huh. Did I drop a totem here really or did they drop it? Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can use that to um, kill all the skeletons on the ships, uh, uh, you know, before you board the ship. Now it's emeralds instead of iron. Emeralds instead of iron, and leather instead of flint. Boom, 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 boom. And it is now level 5. As a watchtower with one more seat, the uh, seagull finds rare items. So it finds fish and cooks it for me. Oh, that's cool. And it can also find rare items. What that means, I do not know. Oh, you can't stand on it. You can only sit on it. It is a cool looking boat. Yeah. So this is a cool add-on, and, and like if you want a cool looking boat for your world, this is definitely an add-on for that. You can get it with this add-on. My, uh, like I said, my only real complaint is that you can't, is that you need a fair amount of stuff uh, to get started with this add-on, where I'd prefer it is if, uh, uh, you know, like I said, it, if they added tier totems, like tier one totems would give you like Basic star, you know, stone with like maybe an eye, the odd iron ingot and some basic food like bread, carrots and stuff like tier two would give you like iron, you know, iron, you know, more iron ingots and stuff, and you know just like more good stuff and the you know have it to scale with your ship. Well, that it is a cool add-on with a, and you can definitely tell there's been a lot of effort put into this add-on like the shark models. Like the sharks didn't even need to exist. They yeah, just added that just because they thought it would be cool by the looks of it. The ships have so much detail in them that uh, most people probably aren't even going to notice. Notice where they've got like little cannons here. And there's like a bunch of different types of ships. And I was like the skeletons here, they look cool, they look so cool, they got cool teeth, they got cool 3D bows. Yeah, and then yeah, it's a cool add-on, it's just like I said, just they just need to like um you know add more totems and more basic, you know, add basic level ships and like just you know, just a bit of rebalancing and this would be really cool and really fun to play with on its own. But yeah, as it stands right now, it's basically just like, oh, get a bunch of stuff and maybe then kill some guys and get some, like... The skeletons are too... there's too many of them and they're too strong for what they are guarding. They don't really have it... I don't think I've seen anything particularly good in their chests. I saw... I've seen, like, uh... Balls of Enchanting, Iron Seaweed and stuff like that. But it's just like... 
they're way too strong to be gathering stuff like that, and there's way too many of them. Like, yeah, like, yeah, what I'm basically trying to say is it's way too difficult to just for just like some couple bits of raw copper, an emerald, and some sea grass and stuff. Like, all of that is way easier to get on land, so like, why would you spawn this in even, you know? So you need to rebalance, rebalancing the loot tables is definitely, for this, is definitely a priority. They definitely need to do that. Um, well, I've got some iron leggings, so that's a decent bit of loot there, at least. Oh, game's not happy with me. There we go. Couple bits of iron. Yeah, this one had some decent loot, but it's just like... Uh, it's, a, it's not it's not going to feel great to just like, you know, kill the skeletons just for a handful of wood, basically. Because like, the seaweed and kelp, that's basically just garbage. All right. Yeah, uh, right. Go on. And the di and the dish is just like you know killing the skeletons and then just finding mediocre loot. Loot. Okay, that's a nice block of like raw copper there. That's nice. But you know, you're just gonna get um, annoyed with it and the frustrated and then get bored and just stop playing the add-on. And I think yeah. I think they just like put way, put a, a ton of effort into everything else, but they didn't put a lot into a lot of thought into like the loot of the chests. But yeah, cool, cool add-on just needs rebalancing. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, uh, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you wanna, uh, there's a link down in the description to join the Discord. If you wanna. You know, like hang out, chat, ask questions, and I also let people know when I'm going live on there. So yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video, and bye bye